Hey guys, I'm back with a homeschool haul for you today. I went to Michael's, Sam's, and then I did an order with uh, the, good, the Good and the Beautiful. So in order to keep this video short, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I picked up at Michael's were these two latch mates with the tray. Uh, they were having a 50% off sale. So I went ahead and picked up two. Uh, they come in three different colors. It was a white and then two pastel colors, like a pink and a like a green color. Um, they also had a red and a green one, which was a holiday colors. Um, and I didn't want that because I wanted to keep it kind of clean. Um, so I went ahead and bought two. I'm going to use one for Matthew and then the second one I'm going to use for this um, space science, science unit study from the good and the beautiful to put the supplies in there. But next year what I'll do is I'll use one for Matthew and then one for my other son Benjamin who I will be homeschooling and he'll be in the sixth grade. And I'm trying to get a little organized um, in my homeschool because this is our first year so I'm still learning. Um, but I'm definitely happy that I got those on sale. So um, what I also got at Michael's um, was this watercolor. I had did a video on books that we had read. It was like a Christmas type books. And we were going to do a watercolor um, project. Um, but we only had watercolor pencils and I don't know how to use them properly so I went to Michael's and I went ahead and got this um, artist loft set it has 12 co different colors and I got the little trays uh, from the Dollar Tree for water for paint that I've had for years and so I'm going to use these with that and we already have paint brushes so I didn't need that um, but I'm just happy that I was able to find some watercolor and those were five dollars if I haven't mentioned that yet but um, this unit study, I've had, I've been wanting to do it uh, for quite a while now, but I think now that um, we've uh, tackled the first semester of our homeschool, which was kind of weird because we were hit by Hurricane Florence, so it didn't really feel like a full semester. But um, we're going to go ahead and do this one, and we're probably going to do this one in March because we're trying to coincide this unit study with a trip that we plan on taking to the planetarium in the month of March. So I kind of want to keep it together. Um, but I will be doing an, um, I guess like an unwrapping of the unit study and I'll show you what's in it. And I do think that I'm going to take this over to Staples and have it coiled bound because I did that with our Sassafras science books and I really love um, the ease of that. So I'm not going to put it in a binder because I don't want to have it be bulky and hard to move around with um, with the unit study. The next thing that I bought was over at Sam's. We've been a member with Sam's for probably three or four years now and I really love their book section. That's really great. Um, but I'm going to do like a little flip through here. We do plan doing uh, an anatomy uh, unit study. Um, probably next month in the month of February. Of course we're not going to go into detail with it um, because I want to do a full anatomy unit study with my other son when he joins our homeschool next year and we're going to combine that as a big lesson and that'll probably take like a couple of months to do that. But I went ahead and got this book because as you know um, Sam's is kind of like the Dollar Tree. If you see something you and you really want to get it you might want to pick it up because the next time you go it might not be there. But I really love the how colorful and bright the pictures are in here and um, it's just really nice this is gonna we can grow into this book we don't have to go like in every detail but we were doing a small unit study at the beginning of the school year but like I said Hurricane Florence hit and we kind of got uh, thrown off track and so I wanted to get back into doing unit studies and not just, you know, your basic math and reading um, books and stuff. I really wanted to focus on certain um, areas other than, you know, your language arts and math and, you know. So I thought this was a great find and it was only $12.98. And I think the price on the back, if you were to buy it uh, at a bookstore or somewhere else it's $19.99 but even at $19.99 I think this is a quality anatomy book 
And then the next book, I'm gonna go around the camera on this side, is this DK book. And this one is um, came out to $18.98. And this was 45% off the retail price at $34.95. And that's what it says there. On the back of the book, it's, yeah, the same price. Um, we, if, if you're, I, I don't think I've ever shared this with you, but our focus for the year, for our first year in homeschool has been a lot about animals. We pick out literature that has to do with animals, like the book that we read was Pigs Might Fly, or um, I think we're reading um, Charlotte's Web in the next, I think we're starting that book next week. I, there's some other books I can't remember what we picked, but they were like animal-based um, literature books. And, and then like we're doing Sassafras, which is zoology. So I wanted to focus on, on one uh, topic for the year, which is um, animals. And so we're going to the zoo in, I think either in February or it's, no. It's either February, March or April. I know we're going to the zoo. And so uh, I had also ordered another book off Amazon, which is half the size of this. And I don't know if it's a DK book, but it definitely was in 1898, and I'll probably do that in another book haul. But this book is gorgeous. For less than 20 bucks, um, I definitely had to have this book. Um, we do a lot of birds. The kids love bird watching and figuring out what kind of birds we have. We actually had a bird that um, laid her eggs in our little back room right here. It was actually ruined by the hurricane. We're trying to fix it up. Um, so that we can uh, do plants and have like some semi greenhouse in there. Um, but I will show you that in another video. But I thought this book was really gorgeous. And it's got beautiful um, pictures in it. It has, you know, where the animal is from, uh, how, how big they get, how much they weigh, where are they common, where are they commonly at. And I'm not... I don't know the legend, so I'll have to research that in the book. But I don't know if this, and it's a pretty heavy book. But definitely thought that this was a great find, a great addition to our homeschool. Um, we actually will be going to the aquarium soon and um, looking at those animals, and we can use that book for reference. But um, that is what I got for our homeschool. I don't know the total price because I didn't calculate that for you today. Um, but I definitely think that we got a really great deal. Um, this one, I was trying to use my 40% coupon off, off of this, but my husband also bought something. And usually what the ladies at the register do is they'll mark off, they'll give you the coupon to apply to your, the greater, the thing that costs more. But this particular cashier did not do that. So I didn't get my 40% off of this item, but that's okay. It was only $5. Plus, that was a great find to get that for half off of each. So for the price of one, um, and I didn't have to use a coupon for that. So for the price of one, I got two. So that was a really great find. And I love getting my books at Sam's. Now that I'm being a homeschool, I, I look more in that, uh, in that department when we go to Sam's. Um, but yeah, that's it for my homeschool haul for you today. Uh, if you guys... Um, find value in these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Bye.